All right, so just for reference, that is where the entrance is. You can see the long line of cars to get into Red Rock Canyon Loop. We are here in Las Vegas and it is negative two Celsius. As you can see, you can see my breath. Pretty chilly for Vegas, but we're on a run, 6K run. And then we're going to the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, to see some product innovations and just check out some neat products. And then we're going to Red Rock Canyon to go for another bike ride. See you there. What's up YouTube, Henry Chung Fitness here. We are back. We are back in Las Vegas. We are back at Las Vegas Cyclery, and this time I have a mic. We are going back to the Red Rock Canyon over there. And once again, we've got the Specialized Tarmac Sport, and I've got my X-Tiger bike light this time. So I'll go ahead and turn that on. I'm gonna test out the light this time on this ride, and I believe this is the same bike as last year. Shimano 105 and we've got two bottles of electrolytes we are at Las Vegas Cyclery and we're going to the canyons okay so a little bit of an update this is the X-Tiger rear brake light from Timu and I believe you can also get them off of AliExpress I am not entirely sure if the automatic works so we're not going to test that today we're just going to test longevity most likely. There's the breathing. There's, in my opinion, there's a bit too many different modes. And I feel like it's better if there are less modes, like two or three modes. Yeah, I really don't know which mode this is in. But we'll just leave it in there, see what happens. Keep me out safe on the road. And let's get to it. So we are at the entrance to the gate. No reservations required for cyclists. It is an $8 fee. Get in, get your uh, ticket and day pass and you can get on on the loop. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my GoPro now and we're going to just go for a nice ride. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the beautiful weather and let's get these legs going. Right, we made it. As we can see, there's climbers again, climbing the side. There's a specialized tarmac, and we're here for the lunch break. Sayulita's leftover carne asada. Oh no, I forget what this is. This is a burrito. 
This is half a burrito. I'm gonna have some lunch. We are 18 kilometers, one hour into our ride. And look at this ball of mush. Tasty. All right, so lunch is complete. And this is the Coleco Tanks Trail um, that I did last year. Lots of climbers way up there, up top. And just a very beautiful, serene place to be. Extremely quiet. Lots of people, lots of tourists, but nevertheless, very, very beautiful place to be. We're gonna head out on a ride, do the loop, finish up, head home, shower, and enjoy the rest of the day. Just doing a double check on the light, see if we're still good, and it looks like it's still running. Just for reference, I did run it for about two hours last week. I think it's about 30 hour runtime. So we'll see if it works out. Again, I'm not using auto mode because I don't really get how it works. I'll need to read the instructions or hopefully test it out another time. Nevertheless, let's get to it. Top secret tip. If you're riding in the winter and you're also riding where you need to bring a lot of stuff and you can't pack it in all of your back pockets here, as you can see, a lot of my back pockets are filled. You can actually bring a pouch, as you can see right here. And this pouch houses a lot of things that I need. And on the plus side, when you're cold, it provides a nice barrier, a wind barrier from the cold. Your junk will thank you. Your junk will be very warm, I guarantee you. So bring a fanny pack if you're a cyclist and you're cycling in the cold, save your junk. How majestic and beautiful is he? So, we are finished the Red Rock Canyon Scenic Loop. I'm not sure if you can see, but kind of the road goes all along there. And we started way over that away somewhere. But nonetheless, it was a great ride. I finished it way quicker than last time, I think. Mostly because I know the roads. I've been through it once. And also because I didn't really stop too much to take too many pictures and scout out or explore. I just wanted to ride and enjoy the road without stopping too much. Tons of uphills, climbs, and punchy descents, as I mentioned. And it's just a great, really, really nice ride. Anyone who's cycling or who's a cyclist, head out to Las Vegas Cyclery or bring your own bike if you can. It is a must do in Las Vegas. Leave the strip, don't need to go there. Come out here see what nature has to offer, and enjoy the outdoors. As you can see, it's like a desert, but there's canyons, there's even white caps, snow out there, up the top of the mountains. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. 
Specialized tarmac performing really well as per usual. Rim brakes are really good. I like rim brakes. I No sounds, quiet, smooth. Aluminum wheels with rim brakes are awesome. And as you can see, they've got Ultra Sport, Continental Ultra Sport tires. These are the ones that I reviewed. They are great tires. They have good, decent grip. And best of all, it's a great price. And we've got Look Kio pedals, smooth shifting on the Shimano 105. And there it is, the Specialized Tarmac Sport. Unfortunately, GoPro second battery died once again as I was nearing around, I'd say mile 11 or 12, but it is what it is. I need to get a new 3D camera. If anyone can recommend a new camera, let me know. Insta360 or the new GoPro, what are your thoughts? Something that lasts well, lasts a long time, and has good battery life, and is super easy to use and mount. All right, we're gonna head out. Actually, one thing I wanna mention, if you are cycling, if you are planning to cycle in Las Vegas near Red Rock Canyon, they've got a bunch of tools here as you can see all of the tools uh whatever you need pedal wrenches screwdrivers allen keys so they've even got a pump as well for those of you that need to fix your bike you can rack it up here and yeah great infrastructure thank you las vegas All right, we are back. We made it, finished the Red Rock Canyon scenic loop. We are back at Las Vegas Cyclery. As you can see here, tarmac is in good shape. Great bike, rim brake for the win. And two hours, eight minutes, 51.26 kilometers, 1,023 calories with an average speed of 24 kilometers. I'm sure there's more ascents as well, but this was a great ride. The light is still working, as you can see here. So that's good to see. We'll go ahead and turn that off. And solid ride. Specialized Tarmac Sports, not the SL6. <laughs> There you go. There you have it, Las Vegas Cyclery. And we came from all the way over there, Red Rock Canyon. If you enjoyed watching this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope you have an awesome time. See you on the next one.